Thank you for tuning in to Angelicious Authentic Dishes. This is Angie and today I'll be making pineapple juice from scratch. But before I do so, I just want to go ahead and demonstrate exactly how I cut up my pineapples. Now the reason for this video is one of my Facebook fans, Dam Stout is her name, that was the name on her profile, also known as Melody. Uh, the other day she commented under one of my videos that you know her mom always made pineapple ginger juice and she wanted me to demonstrate exactly how I made my juice. I'm not quite sure if she didn't uh, observe her mom when she uh, was making her juice or if she just wanted to see exactly how I made mine. So either way, I'm going to go ahead and make this for you, Melody. All right? Now, if you're watching me from um, YouTube, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know if you like the video, let me know what other videos you would love to see. If you're watching me from any other social media platforms, go ahead and do the same, share, comment, interact, engage, so I know that you're there. Now, for all those who have purchased my cookbook, I thank you so much in advance that if you haven't already done so, be sure to visit my website at angelicious.com and order your copy today. Now, this is my cookbook. From My Taste Buds to Yours boasts over 20 plus authentic Caribbean inspired recipes and there's definitely something in here for everyone to love. Whether you're a vegetarian, meat eater, there's definitely something in here for you. Now, I did go ahead and um, there are step-by-step -step instructions with photos. So if you're a well-seasoned cook or a beginner, this is an excellent book for you. And um, just go ahead, order my cookbook. There's fabulous dishes in here for you. All right, let's go ahead and get you this pineapple going. I'm gonna first go ahead and demonstrate how I cut up my pineapple. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what method you use, but since I was asked how I made my juice, I just wanted to do the honors and you know take that extra step and show you how I cut my pineapple. Uh, first, you want to get a serrated knife. This is a knife that I use to cut my fruits, um, melons, you know, pretty much everything. Um, the serrated knife, it's the one with the jagged edge, or, you know, we used to call it a bread knife, you know, that same knife. That's what you want to use when you're cutting your pineapple. So, what I do, I cut the, um, go ahead and get the top off. This makes for great presentation if you're going to go ahead and make a fruit salad. But anyway, we're just carving this. And we are going to get the bottom off as well. And we're doing this because we want to be able to cut it without having the pineapple rolling all over the place. So we've got a base and it can actually stand and uh, without any type of assistance. Now, I'm just going to go around the edges and cut it. And you might think I'm going a bit deep, but I'm not. You know, as a caterer uh, for a presentation, you definitely want to cut it without having any eyes. Uh, whenever you present your food or you serve your food, you don't want your guests to be sitting there picking out the eyes. So this is pretty much for a presentation. All right, and you cut the pineapples. And if you think it's too thick, and the little eyes that are leaving over, left over, you want to just go ahead and kind of like give it a shave. Get those eyes out of there. And you can still go ahead and put these little pieces in the juicer. Now, what I usually do, because you know there's still some pineapple here, I just kind of lay it flat. And you just go in and cut the pineapple out and you can eat it or you can add it to your juice. So I'm not going to go ahead and throw away all of my pineapples, so I'm going to eat this, but I'm not going to waste the video time showing you uh, how to go ahead and just kind of cut it in. So let me just rest it right here for just a moment. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sweet. Alrighty. Back to cutting up the pineapple. And cut the pineapple in half. 
and we're not throwing out anything. Everything is going to go into the juicer. Now the core is in the center. We just want to kind of go alongside the core. Cut that out. If you're making like a fruit salad, you don't want to include the core because it's kind of chewy, sort of fibrous. And that's it. This is the core. But since we're juicing, we're not going to go ahead and discard it. This makes excellent juice right here. So I'm going to put that right there. And like I said, if you're making a fruit salad, just go ahead, cut these little pieces up. And voila, you add it to your salad bowl. You know, depending on what size you want, you can cut them smaller, you can cut them larger, but that's pretty much it. So let me just go ahead. This can actually fit in my juicer, so I'm not going to go ahead and chop that up. Just want to show you how I cut up the pineapples. I'm doing the same thing, going alongside, oops, the core, and laying it flat. Here's the core again. This is the rest of the pineapple. If you want to just put it in a bowl, put it up, eat it, whatever you want to do. But this is going in my juicer. That's it. That's it, Melody. Now, thank you so much. For tuning in to Angelicious Authentic Dishes. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you once again. Be blessed.